When you log into Moodle, you arrive at your dashboard. All of the courses can be found in your course overview. Instructors have the freedom to change around elements of their courses to suit their needs, but the look and feel of most courses is similar. To demonstrate, I have chosen a couple of courses for us to look at today. Let's click on a course and have a look around. The first course we're going to look at is the Integration of Information and Computer Technology in Instruction Part 1. Directly under the course graphic, there is an assortment of communication tools. Every course has a place for course announcements where the instructional leader updates the students as to what is happening in the course. In addition to the announcement, there's always an evaluation link for the end of the course, as well as any number of other communication tools. The type and number of tools depends on what the instructional leader feels is necessary for the course. Here you can see an online chat room, a journal where students can privately communicate with the instructor, and a lounge where students can discuss any number of topics. On the left hand side, there are some pretty important pieces. Administration, navigation, calendar, Twitter, and information. It's easy to remember when things are due when you look at the calendar. Due dates are highlighted and hovering over them gives you an idea what is due and clicking on it brings you to the assignment. On the left hand side there's one that I use all the time which is the navigation pane. Wherever I am in the course, I can always look to the left hand side and see where I am and navigate somewhere else just by clicking on where I want to go. Another useful drop down menu can be accessed when you click the little red triangle next to your name in the top right hand corner. Within this menu, you can access and edit your profile, including adding an avatar image. For quick access to your other courses, Above your name in the top right hand corner is the My Courses drop down menu. Every course is arranged in learning blocks. Within each learning block there are a number of activities and resources. To access each of the blocks click on the title. To access the activities or resources click on them. There are several ways of finding your way around. Look to the left hand side. Here's that list of course content again. Clicking on the different pieces in the course content bring you to the different areas. Another option when it comes to finding your way around is the breadcrumbs at the top of the page that you can see up here. You can click on these in order to be able to bring you to some of the other areas of the course. Let's look at learning block number one. In order to be able to go to learning block number two, once you've accessed the content on learning block number one, you can either use the links on the left hand side here, or you can use these links at the top and bottom of the learning block. Additionally, you can also use the Jump To. Let's look at another course. This one is Reading Part 1, Adolescent Focus, Grade 7 to 10. As you can see, there are many similarities with the previous course we looked at. There are two things to note about this course. First, when we go into the introduction, the course outline and the course overview have been put into the, the book format. Book format is an interesting way of organizing things, but just like navigating through the learning blocks, on the left hand side is the table of contents. By clicking on each of these links, you can skip to what part of the table of contents you're interested in, or you can also use these triangles that will bring you to the next one or the previous one. 
I'm going to go back to the main page of this by clicking on the breadcrumb. The second thing to note about this course is that the parts that you can access will be highlighted in red when you move over top of them. Introduction is available, also learning block one. But as you can see here, learning block two through six and the independent project has not yet been revealed by the instructional leader. This is very valuable because it makes it so that you do not move ahead unnecessarily. Hopefully you found this information helpful. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.